in this video we will discuss about how this T cells can be glyco engineered and can be used as a uh, one of the possible immunotherapeutic approach so let us start with how this T cell uh, formation occurs within the uh, host so T cells usually form from the homeopathic stem cells from the bone marrow and the cells that are destined to become T cells will go into this organs that is thymus and where this T cell maturation occurs. So initially when the T cell receives it, it, uh, it is called as double negative cells as it is deprived of both CD4 and CD8 uh, receptors. After that the uh, rearrangement of the receptor gene occurs and in this case the glycan plays an important role such as this uh, uh, neck. Uh, glycan glycans or this glycan with fucose uh, glycans act as a uh, important uh, receptors to divert this uh, double negative uh, three T cells into this uh, DN4 that is double negative four uh, T cells. After that, uh, with the this selections of the beta selections or beta selection, these complex and glycan structures on the double uh, negative is important as. Uh, when the T cell receptors rearrangement occurs, that is now when they have both receptors for both CD4 uh, and CD8, then uh, this they will start to express this complex and glycan structures. And this is how the and this is how this uh, the machinery within the thymus recognize this double positive uh, T cells. And after this double positive C cells, it will be uh, further. Uh, further selection will occurs to see whether they have affinity uh, towards CD4 uh, or they are uh, more prone towards the CD8 uh, receptors and the CD4 uh, receptors have this more uh, alpha 2 6 silic acid structures whereas CD8 uh, structure CD8 does not have the alpha 2 6 silic acid structures so this is how normal uh, T cell development occurs and how this glycan plays an important role in this so after this glycan T cells is maturated, it is then regulated into the lymph node for the regulation of this T cell traffic. And for this, this O glycan structures plays a important role. In the lymph node, this core one O glycan structures plays a important role for further uh, uh, further functioning of this T cells. And thereafter, this lymph node uh, will then go and express on the cell surface membrane. Uh, will go into the cell surface membrane where these T cell receptors and uh, CD25 uh, will modulate the activation of T cells and also this uh, glycan, gly uh, glycosylation of CTLA4 will also help in modulation of the T cells uh, to uh, activate or deactivate the T cells in a uh, based on the requirement of the within the host and this uh, PD1 is also glycosylated and it is it, it also helps in the modulation of the T cells along with the other uh, receptors that are shown here. So this is how the normal functioning of the T cells occurs and how this glycan plays a role in towards it. In the case of cancerous cells, there is aberrant glycosylation occurs that we have discussed many times in our previous videos, and that might lead to this dysfunctioning of these uh, T cells. Uh, for example, this. Uh, increase in the aberrant glycosylation that will lead to the uh, increased amount that will lead to the increased amount of the uh, increased threshold level of this T cell receptors. Now there is uh, uh, T cells will be activated uh, the threshold levels above which T cells get activated is increased in the case of cancerous cells because of the aberrant glycosylation and that cause the T cells threshold level increase that leads to the increase of the T cells uh, activation threshold level and some of this example is that this uh, high complex and glycan structures that will uh, inhibit that will inhibit uh, the T cells activation and prevents uh, this is how one of the way by which this threshold levels of the TCA T cells activation increased and simultaneously this uh, galactin one binds to this uh, T cells regulatory cells or it will increase the regulatory T cells and that will also lead to the suppression of the T cell activation and this galactin 9 it will bind to the uh, T cells and it will promote the T cells apoptosis CD8 uh, positive T cells apoptosis and um, the other ways by which and the one more way by which it will uh, do 
uh, it will uh, promote the immune response is via uh, this inhibition of this siglec 79 so this siglec uh, 79 uh, inhibition will prevent or uh, will suppress the uh, immune efficiency uh, for the proper immune surveillance so these are the ways by which these t cells uh, activation thresholds is increased in the case of tumor cells or uh, around tumor macro environment so what are the strategies uh, that can be used one of the strategies is to uh, use car t cells with this select 79 receptors and it has uh, found that it is prone to increase the immune recognition in the case of tumor cells that we have discussed in our previous videos and also this more amount of this alpha 2 6 salic acid it will uh, prevent this uh, galactin 1 interactions to the T regulatory cells and thereby the uh, threshold levels increment because the T regulatory cell will also reduced so it will prevent the apoptosis of the T cells and simultaneously the we can use uh, the antibodies against the uh, immune checkpoint receptors thereby uh, preventing uh, the inhibition of the T cells because of this uh, CTLA-4 uh, and uh, CTLA-4 and PD-1 uh, receptors present on the uh, aberrant, present on the tumorous cells. So we can prevent those inhibition by uh, blocking those inhibitor checkpoint on the T cells. It might cause some side effects such as uh, it might cause autoimmune response as uh, T cells will lose its ability for the modulation. So that needs to be taken care of in this case and one more approach that can be used is to inhibit this galactin 3 so galactin 3 is uh, uh, one of the uh, cause that leads to the increase in the threshold levels so reduction in galactin 3 will not only uh, leads to the increase in the uh, uh, not only leads to more efficient functioning of the t cells but it will uh, by increasing this uh, ifn secretion this cytokine secretion that helps in the uh, that helps in the uh, uh, that helps in uh, fighting that helps in detecting the tumor cells and uh, act against the tumor cells or uh, by triggering the apoptosis so this is uh, how these t cells is connected with the uh, glycans how it, and how it can be engineered uh, to target these tumor cells so that's all for this video. If you need to understand more about this T-cell glycogen engineering, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. Thank you for your time.